So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides a picture, I'm going to call a diagram question. So let's read the question and see how having this picture in front of us is helpful. So the question says, in the xy plane above, line L, all right, so this line is parallel to line K, all right, what is the value of P? Okay, so for visually, it seems like, you know, first of all, the question does not say that this is not drawn to scale, which is always useful for us. Because that means that I can kind of eyeball the, I'll use a different color, the distance between the origin and negative 5 to the left should be equivalent to the distance between 0 and positive 5. Let's just say it's that far. I know I'm not exactly right, but let's say it's that far. And a positive 5. So if that's positive 5, right, I could say, well, then from there to here seems like another 5. So I call that 10. I'm not 100% certain, but that's how, from a visual standpoint, it looks. And I'm pretty sure that it's not 4 or 5, which already puts me in a better place to guess if I need to. I would guess between 8 and 10. I'd have a 50-50 chance there. Um, so that's that's a visual way to answer this question if you have no I, no other idea of how to answer the question. The key to answering this question mathematically, however, is in the word parallel. Whenever you have two parallel lines, you're going to have lines that have equal slope. And if you recall that slope, m, is equal to rise over run, that's all we need in order to answer this question. Because I know, let's get rid of all of this that I wrote in here, I know that the Slope of line L, well, I'd rise 2, and I'd run 5 in order to get to this, you know, to get from negative 5, 0 to 0, comma 2. So I know that my slope, my M, is 2 fifths, which means that the slope for line K, right, must be the same. M must equal 2 fifths for this one. So let's do 2 fifths there. So if I go up 2... I'd be at negative 2. And when I run 5, all right, I'd be at 5 here. And if I go up another 2, I'm up here on the x-axis, and I go over 5. Oh, what do you know? All right, so I'm at 10, right? Because that's the only way that I'd have a point on the x-axis if I'm following the slope. Therefore, the answer is 10. Keep in mind, however, that we had already figured that out visually, and that truly is the power, especially of graph questions when it comes to diagrams. But there's a lot of other um, shape questions and really a lot of other questions that fall under the diagram category where you can use the provided information almost like a ruler of sorts, right? A scale factor, right? So knowing that this line was a distance of five, allow me to then kind of take that line to this side of the graph and say, oh, well, that must be around five, and that must be around five, um, and therefore 10, if I were guessing and only doing it visually, 10 would be my best answer.